Hi, welcome back to CMG Aerospace Trading Channel. In this episode, we are going to um, continue with our weekly FX uh, market forecast. And this week, or yes, this week will be week 36. Right, so um, I hope you had a wonderful trading week. Um, and gradually we are moving to the end of the year. Right, so um, like we do, I wouldn't wait, uh, like to waste any time here. We we'll quickly look at our uh, the recent week, uh, a recap of that, how the market went according to our analysis. So on DXY, um, in fact, we do analysis on DXY. If you are new here, we do analysis on DXY, um, JPY, and then sometimes on gold. Right. So um, on DXY, last week, um, market opened around these plates. You can see in this rectangular box, right? Um, rectangular box. And um, we were hoping that within this frame, uh, market would um, consolidate right around that place, even though we see a resistance level there, we we'll consolidate around that place and then we wait to see if there will be much volume and then we we'll gap up, right? So lo and behold, of course, uh, market actually consolidated for some time now, and then um, it actually what faked out, right? So it actually faked us out. So that is what is happening. You can see from the top here, um, I gave you this purple uh, arrow up, it means that we are going to consolidate around that area and then we gap up. But it was rather unfortunate um, around that place. Market did waste um, some time there, spent some time there, but the bulls couldn't what, keep up with their energy, their muscles. So we, we, we saw a very great dip, a steep one. And then uh, we came around back to this support level. So on DXY, actually, um, it didn't go well. Um, we had some losses there. Of course, for the whole week, I entered once. That is my, according to my strategy, right? With my analysis, if the first entry doesn't go well, I don't worry myself trying to enter again. I know some of you would try to what, do counter trading. Of course, it's at your own what, um, uh, discretion. So that is good. But from my side, my side or from my analysis, if you are with me or you were with me, we weren't profitable on DXY, right? And then I only conceived only one SL there, right? So uh, going forward, let me just try and clean things out for you so that we can continue with the, the following week, which is week 30, 36, right? So um, now uh, looking at this, we know we do top-down analysis, but I'm going to begin from this level of one hour time frame. sorry, four hour time frame. Now, um, what I'm seeing now is going to be um, some, uh, we are experiencing, you see, anytime you do analysis, you have to find another uh, perspective, right? You can't be only one uh, in one direction or opinionated. You have to be open-minded, be looking at the market from different perspective. So what I'm seeing now is even though um, we are expecting, uh, expecting uh, sorry, expecting uh, a rally up or going up, right? I see some kind of consolidation happening within. I told you some time ago that we have nested what uh, market structure from a higher time frame, things will be happening there. But when it comes to a lower time frame to the same structure, another small structure thing is happening within, right? So on this uh, four hour, because I, I trade or we trade four hour time frame, that is what I'm, I'm seeing now. Um, some kind of, a um, minute. I'm going to clean this one out. What is happening? Right, so I'm going to consider this as um, so um, point of interest, right? And then here too, uh, sorry, another point of interest. I'm going to cover it the whole thing. Uh, it, even though in some cases you can do it uh, individually to get two points, two points of interest, right? But it's the same idea, right? So we know how consolidation forms, right? And then I'm seeing this again. 
right so you see what is happening here so on four hour time frame i am seeing some kind of consolidation happening so we are going to experience this for some time i bet you don't have to rush with this right so we are going to confirm or check with our confluence from the higher time frame and see if this is going to actually happen and then in the course of the week we will also be what monitoring right that's why you have the telegram channel i give you live updates if you're not there and you only watch this you may not be profitable that's one truth you can watch this i told you anytime we do analysis in the course of the week we look for what confluences or confirmation in order to actually trade them so that is what we do here so you can see something that i'm seeing here right so top down top down now the nice rejection here even though it looks kind of confusing but they are still a nice re rejection from the support level so we may come to this level in fact we are coming to that level and then when we get here we look at the volume the reaction from the the two participants and then we decide if we are going to continue with the upward or, or downward so that is what i see on the four hour time frame i'm beginning from the four hour time frame now let's look at um the the higher time frames and see something. No, let me go to, right. So um, on the, what do I say? This is um, the daily time frame, right? It looks nice also. It still looks nice for bias or for buying. It still looks nice. So, right so it still looks nice for going up right so i still see the same thing the same perspective on the daily time frame let's check on the the, the weekly time frame and see um okay so on the uh what is it on the weekly time frame too huh, i see some kind of indecision right um confusion right I see it. So we will have to. So it means that in the, the same week, the the week that we are going to face, right, which is um the week thirty six, right. It means that the consolidation that I saw, or I am seeing on the the four hour time frame, is of high potential. I hope you understand me. So it means that markets can either go up or come down, but it will not be readily because in the week we have five days. So things can actually happen there. So in fact, my advice is you have to be very careful because this kind of um, pattern is, 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 is not popular. It's not popular. For that matter, you can see if it is um, a bullish uh, candlestick pattern or a bearish candlestick pattern. But notwithstanding, the rejection on the recent candlestick pattern, which is this red, the red one, in nature, it is what bearish uh, canistic, canistic, right? But in terms of anatomy, I see it to be there's much rejection from um, that canistic, right? Market sold massively to this area, and then the what the bulls came back to push it back to the middle of that uh, time frame. You understand that that duration or within that week, market came down and went back to half of that. So we, we are going to experience some kind of indecision. So it means that this week will not be very favorable, right? Even though we are seeing that on the four hour time frame, but this week will not be favorable. So that is what I'm seeing now. Now, um, but we'll decide in the course of what? The week. That is why I have the Telegram channel, the description, the link will be in this video description, join and then, um, let's see what is going to happen in fact um i won't be opinionated you as a viewer or uh, yes as a follower you can tell me what you think about dxy for this coming week right and then i'll be glad to learn from you right we are all learning from our, from ourselves so that is it now um let me jump straight to jpy uh jpy for that matter and the recent week was um the last week yes was very um profitable 
our analysis or anticipation came out exa exactly, right? I told you we're going to um, move to this level. Let me, right, so um, what do you see here? You see here, right, market began from here. And I told you on that day that we are going to move to this area. And then when we get to the area, we move up. Of course, the same thing happened exactly. And it's very, very nice. So that is why it's something we have something we call hedging. So if I lost on the DXY and, and JPY, uh, I was profitable. So I could go home or to what, um, a break even. But in fact, I was profitable because on the uh, stock indices, I was also profitable there. You understand? I even sent you some screenshots. So that is what is happening. So on JPY, in fact, I won't say much there. We are going to continue. There's a higher potential. Let me put it that way. There's a higher potential of continuing with the, with the upward trend. So that's what I have to say so far. But in the course of the week, I'll be following monitoring and then I'll, I'll, I'll update you. Right. So um, that will be all for today for this weekly analysis. Um, stay tuned um, and then be watching the uh, page, the channel for other interesting packages on crypto airdrops and then Binance trading. Right. See you in the next video. Bye for now.